Welcome to this look at nutty new mods on Farming Simulator 22 with me, Mr. Silly P. It's Tuesday the 4th of April. We've got new mods, about 23 of them to be precise. <laughs> and we've got quite a few updates as well. Um, I think we've got seven maps have been updated. The Prairie Farm Michigan map by Taylor Farms. The Frankenmuth Farming map, map by Taylor Farms. The Michigan Farms map by Taylor Farms and Salty Shorty. All three of those have had updates and they don't need a new save game. The map Balkanska Farmer by Mex doesn't say if it needs a new save game. The map Ebony Island by Cavalier Roy doesn't need a new save game. The map Cow Farm by ABT Frankie Y um, does need a new save game. And then um, Calm Lands by ER Shabba it doesn't say. We've then got the Avon series by ITS, the International 2 Plus 2 series by EY Modding, the Lizard Rumbler Van by DD Mod Passion, the Tractor Triangle by Weekend Farmers T4Xs, the Small Herman Garage, including Warehouse by Top Ace 888, and the Tap and Portable Jet Washer by Vergamini Modding and Lost Gamer have all had updates. Uh, we start then with now this is I've I've been friends with Foo Farmer for quite a while now and Foo Farmer bought us this basic pastures pack on FS19 and it was submitted to be put out and somebody else jumped the gun on this one I'm not going to go into more detail but 2.16 megabytes download this by Foo Farmer we have got a cow pasture we've got a horse pasture a pig pasture a sheep pasture and a chicken pasture these are all open you will also notice that this one, when placed, this is one of the ones that has the corner post, so you can see where the nav mesh is. The animals are not escaping outside that nav mesh, they're staying within it. But it doesn't put a texture down. That's good, because it means if you've already got a texture down or something already on the ground, it won't adjust it. The middle section will, but as you can see here I had concrete, and here I had grass. It hasn't done anything to those, it's left them as they are. So that gives you the ability then, once it's placed, to then do any texture you want to do so it doesn't have a painted texture within it either which is really nice um, each one of these is 5,000 the cow pasture we're in the, we're in the sheep one as you can see at the moment the cow one is nine slots will hold 100 cows the horses is 11 slots will hold 10 horses pigs 10 slots 120 pigs the sheep 10 slots 120 sheep the chickens 10 slots and 450 on each one of them we've got our troughs for our feed and we've got our water with the sheep we've got the pallets that will spawn wool pallets will spawn here you will not get slurry or manure from the cows or the pigs these are pastures you won't get like that but then if you come to the center section here where it says toggle marker posts once you've placed it you know where your marker posts are you can put them away or if you want to You could put fencing between them if you want to add fencing in. That, of course, is up to you as well. So, yeah, we've got the sheep in this one. We've got pigs in this one. If we go into the air, you'll see our sheep, pigs, cows in that one, horses in that one, and our chickens are all running around in the grass here as well. I like that real open feel, for, especially for the chickens as well. I think that's really cool. You'll find these under animals. Like I said, the price is five grand for each from anyway. Slot counts will come down to one. So we've got our cows there, horses, pigs, sheep, and chickens. Very nice indeed. The basic pastures pack by Foo Farmer. Next, we've got the open gardens. Now, these aren't the Omitana ones. These are by Namog Mod. 1.52 megabytes of download. Two slots each. We've got a large and a small. 10,000 or 5,000. The large is a double. And these are open in so much as there's no greenhouse cover. These are like gardening beds. Flower beds, really, I suppose, if you want to look at it like that. But you can do your regular or standard greenhouse things. So we can do lettuce, tomatoes, or strawberries. That's a double without the wooden poles around it. And then these ones have got the poles, so that's the smaller one. If we click on that, you will see we're on the middle one there. Tomatoes. 10,000 litres of water for the small one. 20,000 litres of water for the larger one. Um, and yeah, 
tomatoes, lettuce or strawberries. The small one, we've got 768 cycles per month on the tomatoes, 384 on the lettuce and 768 on the strawberries. On the larger ones, we've got 1,536 on the tomatoes, 768 on the lettuce and 1,536 on the strawberries. I like that. It's nice having greenhouses, but I think if you've got a garden or something and you want to just put in, like I say, it's a flower bed, but to do these, a lettuce bed or something without all the, I say cumbersome, you know what I mean? It's not cumbersome, but anyway, under build mode, under production, under greenhouses, that's where you'll find them. Like I said, 10 grand or 5 grand. Slot count comes down to um, 1. They start at 2, so not going to break the bank in any direction very nice open gardens by name mod mod next apologies if i appear to rattle through some of these now because we have got a lot to get through we've got these shed or sheds by mr grucher 8.45 megabytes download seven slots each uh this one here is ten thousand this one here is uh eight thousand not five thousand i'm looking at the uh open gardens there's no lights on them metal frame this one has a concrete base the other one doesn't have a concrete base under build mode and sheds just there shed with base plate shed on its own 10,000 8,000 slot counts come down to one that's shed by Mr. Grucher next we've got this now I'm not going to go into loads of detail we've had a few of these out recently um, this is the Bale and Pallet Storage by Rowley Christie 1 VSR Modding Sir. 4.36 megabytes download, 4 slots on console, 19,000 to buy. You find it in the build mode and silos, just there. Slot count will come down to 1. I've got some bales in there at the moment. Putting in is done here. Taking out, we come to our dialog box. The same as the previous ones we had. These, like I said, this one will do pallets and bales. 750 it will do. You can pick whichever ones you want to take out once you've got stuff in there. Pick however many you want. Do that. And where have they gone? Oh, there you go. Um, as you can see, it will take the new bell types and the Gavile pack as well. Very nice indeed. This one actually has got a light switch just inside here. So we can turn off or on or off the, the shed lights at the front. Just there. Very handy indeed. The Bale and Pallet Storage by Rowley Christie 1 VSR Modding Sir. Uh, next to that, we've got this. This is Salt Storage by uh, Agra Modding. 5.99 megabytes download, 8 slots on console, 49,382 to buy. This is a buy point, so this is for purchasing of salt if you're on a map where you think you're going to be needing a lot of it. If you're going to have particularly harsh winters, this you'll find under build mode and container. There we go just there slot count will come down to one we open the doors triggers just inside Actually, let's see if this one oh yeah we have got a light switch there we go turn on shed lights inside and out and then with whatever salt implement you happen to be using or trainer or whatever you're using Yeah. Purchase point for salt. Let's close that. Up. Uh, that's the salt storage by Agra Modding. Next to that, we've got this. This is the auto load pallet storage. This is by Agri Kevolution. Uh, 0 0.59 megabytes download, three slots on console, five grand to buy will hold 50 pallets what's interesting about this i say it's in, be wary of this when you look at it we'll, we'll only do pallets um this is the same as the sort of bale and pallet storage but this will only do pallets putting in the triggers right here by the door so you bring them right up to the door and it'll, it'll put them in taking out is done here i've only got wheat pallets in there at the moment but if i say pick one of those puts, puts out the pallet and i can take it away which is rather nice this you'll find under silos just there now that says like that one bale and pallet storage if i go across to it bale and pallet storage but it's not it's just pallets it's an auto load pallet storage 50 pallets you can place as many of them as many of them as you want of course 
slot count will come down to one. That's the auto load pallet storage by Agri Kevolution. Uh, next, we've got this. This is the forestry cell point. This is by Gamer Designs. Three slots, 8,000 to buy. You find it in the build mode uh, under production. Cell points. Just there, slot count will come down to one. It is designed so that logs are put onto the log rack to sell. I'll trigger here for selling wood. And this will also do containers. So if you've got any of the log containers, the various different ones that are available now, um, you can bring the containers here and they will auto sell at this point here. So what should, what should happen, <laughs> we shall see. Drop our logs on. There we go. Sell our wood. Fairly straightforward. Forestry Cell Point by Gamer Designs. Uh, next we've got... Oh yeah, we've got this. This is Wood Storage. So, this is by uh, Ethaniel. 5.8 megabytes download, two slots on console, eight grand to buy. It's, um, if you find it on the silos, and it's this bit here. This bit is a cable yarder that I've added in separately. So we've got the Platinum DLC, Platinum Expansion. This is designed to work with winch systems, cable yarders. You don't have to, of course, but that's kind of the, the point of it. Um, big concrete design with a crashed little barrow at the back. And you run your cable yarder and you bring your logs literally straight down onto the wood storage. They'll hit the back wall, let, let go of them, and they roll down to the sides and they kind of just stack up. You've got the bit at the top here, so as you bring them down, Wherever they hit, they're going to roll down one side or the other to store. You don't have to use a cable yard, and you can just, you know, you can use anything. Wheel loads and things like that to load up. You can just use a standard wood storage, but like I said, it's designed to work like that. I'm, I haven't got a log to show you because it will just be embarrassing, and I'll make a mistake, and, you know, and then people will laugh. So, um, this you'll find under uh, silos, I think it was. There you go, just there, 8,000. Slot count will come down to one. That's the wood storage by Ethaniel. Next. We've got this, the Big Sheep Barn. This is by Lost Gamer, Vergamini Modding and Grangero. 12.94 megabytes download, 20 slots on console, 26 grand to buy. It will hold 300 sheep. There are three to choose from, they're just different colours. The, the, the buildings themselves are exactly the same. Large open pen here. Dialog box with opening gate just there. There's dialog box. Doors open. Front and rear, or side and side, depending on which way you've got it pointed, of course. Feed goes in here, water goes in here, and your um, wall pallets will spawn there. We've got a light switch just there. This I do like. The animation on this is brilliant. That little flicker of the lights, that's a nice touch, that, isn't it? That's nice. I'm liking that a lot. So, build mode. Animals. Under our sheep. So there you go. You've got a wood one. You've got the red barn effect, the one I've got here. And you've got that sort of whitewashed version. They're all exactly the same. 26 grand each. Slot count will come down from 20 to 1 for any subsequent one you may wish to purchase. This will hold... 40,000 litres of water, 60,000 litres of feed, which should keep you going um, for a fair amount of time. Uh, right, where are we off to now? Oh, yeah. We've got this. This is the New Holland 600 FDR. This is by Gaming Flow. 3.39 megabytes download, three slots on console, six metres wide. This is an all crop forage header designed for all crops. It will turn it into chaff, sling it out of the back. You're good to go. Uh, I'm trying to think, have we had a new Holland one before? I know the standard in-game ones, if we go into our tools and go to our forage headers, if we scroll across, these are your pickup headers, these ones here, there we go. So we've got the class, we've got crone, and then the capello is kind of the catch-all one. These are 5 metres, 6.1, 6.2. If I go out to the end, there you go, the 600 FDR, 6 metres. Slot count will come down to 1, 38 grand. No options on it, you get it just like that. And it will do um, uh, grass, wheat, barley, oats, canola, 
soybean sorghum and sunflower so what we should happen now he says so he's got sunflower there we go it's always been one of those questions um, if you're going to be producing silage is it profitable to be silage harvesting something like sunflower which is worth a fair bit of money anyway uh, bang for your buck normally it's um, corn you produce the corn header and the forage harvest so you get a fair bit from that you can do grass and stuff as well as it says in the description six meter wide all crop header that's the new holland 600 fdr by gaming flow there you go moving on from there we have this. This is the Kong's. I'm, I'm not sure if it says Kong's Kilda. This is the Kong's Kilda HK31 and NS3130 by Scout E39. 5.61 megabytes download. Eight slots, three meters wide. This is one of those combo um, power harrow and cedars. But the power harrow doesn't work as a power harrow. I have been told off for this before. Um, it's supposed to be so it provides a seed bed on a ploughed field or an already cultivated field it'll work no problem at all but this is not a direct drill it won't work as a direct drill very nicely made very nicely detailed as you can see you'll find it under cedars just there 33,500 now this isn't one that you can separate and then you can sell them separately and you can't buy the HK31 uh, power harrow separately this just comes as a as a solid block 600 litre capacity um it only does seed doesn't do seed and fertilizer sorry i suddenly thought did i not show the options there are no options you can get it just like that so hop in start it up open the cover he's done like that puts the steps down cover opens putting in ridge marker left right We'll back up again turn it on and where we go we do it across here on the cloud section There you have it. The Cons killed that HK31 and NS3130 by Scout E39. Oh, next we got this. So today we have got uh, two insane capacity um, trailers. I mean, we've got some nice mods, don't get me wrong. This one, bonkers, but brilliant. Both of these, interestingly as well, that we're going to be looking at today, that have got large capacities, um, don't charge you anything extra for the extra capacity. That one in front of us, 500,000 litres if you go for the unreal capacity. You don't have to. So if you're already freaking out and going a bit mad and saying it's stupid, it's mad, it's not farming, and sure, you haven't got to use it. You don't have to. But it, it does have it if you want to. It also does have the option of a trailer hitch. So if you want to run a dolly with the second one behind it, million litres no problem and you've got a few different options here with the uh, there's a john deere one there's a class one there's um an agco one but we'll have a look at those uh, belly dump split trailer so each part of this is 250,000 litres so you can if, if you go for that i'm just saying that's what i've got um so you can split it 250,000 of two different crops or all one crop type if you should desire this you will find under trailers this is the 53 foot super hopper. Uh, this is the Wilson 53 foot super hopper by uh, Venom Mods. 21.12 megabytes download, 10 slots on console. Options on this then. It does everything. Unlike some of the other ones, the distinctions and things like that that will only do certain crop types, this will do pretty much everything. We have got the option of Continental, Lizard, Nokian, 
Back to Continental. On to Continentals, we've got those options. Lizard, those two. Knocking, those two. Then we've got Toolbox, no or yes. Mud flap, we've got standard. Center, front, back to standard. We've got special editions, we've got no. John Deere, case, echo, class, or back to no again. If you pick one of those, let's say, for example, we've gone for the John Deere, you can then change the color of the trailer if you want to. Uh, attaches, yes or no. Rear hitch. Capacity, so standard capacity, 40,000 liters. Upgraded, 77,600, pretty good. Doesn't charge you anymore. Unreal, 500,000 liters, no extra charge for that. Zero, 500,000 liters, insane. Uh, we can change the hopper. So if we've gone for the John Deere, for example, there we go. If we want to match it up, we might not want to, you might want to keep it another color, it's up to you. The frame underneath, let's say we go for silver, but you can pick anything on that palette. Cover color, rim color, anything on that palette with the metallics across the top there, chrome affections, copper affections, those kind of things, dark steels, then license plate option on there, two. Start this up, I've got the cover. So as you can see, bottom right, 250,000 litres of corn, 250,000 litres of canola. Honestly. <laughs> it's absolutely nuts. But, like I say, you, you, you can go 40,000, 70, was it 77, 77, 6 I said? Or the 500. I know some people will use it and, you know, like I say, each their own, why not? That is bonkers. The detail on it, very nice indeed. Uh, you can change from front or rear tip for the belly dumps if you want to. Uh, so there you go. That's the Wilson 53 foot Super Hopper uh, by Venom Mods. Now the next one, uh, where have I put it? I've lost it. <laughs> Literally, uh, yeah. oh it's over here. Um, this seems to have disappeared off the mod hub, so I'm, I'm going to still review it because I've got it in case. Because sometimes it's still in the in the actual, the actual mod hub, but the website's not showing it now, which I'm a bit puzzled by. But anyway, um, so this is the Flegel ASW271 by Barsum and Butters BTS. 19.31 megabytes download, 10 slots on console with a 12 meter spread width. You can have this as a regular trailer, or you can have it as a manure spreader. As you can see, I've gone for the Max Spreader version. If you have, you'll find it under Trailers. Again, if it hasn't been removed. So the ASW271, just there. So the standard trailer version, 30,000 litres, like that. we got Back Black. we got Green. We've got the ASW Edition Black. Edition Blacky. Then we've got a Folding Shaker, so we're on to the Manure Spreaders with various different configurations of silvers, blacks, greens. And then we're onto spreaders, and it goes through a lot of different options on those as well, various different editions. If you go for the manure spreader, it's 26,000 litres. The trailer is um, 30, as I've just said. But if we go back to the trailer, we've got the option on the trailer to have a cover, yes or no. So where it says down there, uh, plenty and follow, but that's the cover colour. So if you change that to anyone on this palette here, we can change the cover color, but you don't get a cover option if you go for the muck spreader. Um, so I'll just I'll point that out. We have got the option of where are we? Trelleborg, Michelin, PKT, Vredestein, back again. And Trelleborg, no options. Michelin, no options. PKT, we've got those. Nothing on the Vredestein, just that back again. So then you've got warning stripes on the sides. You've got red warning stripe, orange, white, yellow. Or off again. Cover, curtain or no, and then we've got license plate option on there too. So like I say, I've gone for the Mux Plader variant. Unfold the trailer, does that.
nice animation plenty of steam coming off that I like the fact it is spreading from the top and bottom it's like flinging out from everywhere sometimes you get I mean, it's just a sort of almost like a single plane as it throws it out but that's um, pretty cool you can do double activation rate as well if you wish the Flegel ASW271 by Barsom and Butters BTS I'm going to disconnect that because on the front of this we've got this That is the Herculano HCCR175 by FSPT Nonus. It is 3.52 megabytes download, two slots on console with a 750 litre capacity, or you can have tension straps for logs, bales, pallets, that kind of stuff, if you should desire. Uh, we can fold or unfold the box, which opens and closes the cover. Tension straps, as you can see. If we go to that, we can lower the box down manually, but we have also got, sorry, manual, automatically, then we have got manual adjustment on the tilt and lift. Like so. So you can put in it wherever you want. And uh, yeah. Front or rear box, it's entirely up to you. This you will find... Is this under miscellaneous? I think it was. just there it will take all those crop types no options available just get it like that like i said either tension straps or 750 liters whichever you would rather the herculano hccr 175 by fspt nonus next we have got over here we've got the transport platform 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 by HR Forst und Fahrzeugbau, 5.48 megabytes download, seven slots on console. This is designed to work with the Platinum expansion, so the Volvo FH16. Um, it does say it will work with some other trailers, but it will be one of those ones you're going to need the longer wheelbase trailers if you are going to need uh, trailers, um, lorries or trucks. You're going to need the long wheelbase. This is designed to work with this one with the eight wheel configuration, like that, and it is a, a rear transport section um this you will find oh this was under trailers actually yeah right on the end there 40 grand so decoration we've got um a broom and shovel that side or that side or off you got load securing automatic or you can have tension belts whichever you'd rather main color anything on that pallet there and then license plate option there too Start this up, hook it on, as you can see tension straps on or off, you can do them manually of course as well, we can unfold the trailer, it's got a nice um, long set of ramps on this, so the actual angle, the angle of attack for a vehicle getting onto here, it's got quite a nice long um, loading ramp, I quite like that, but what we've also got is the option on this to adjust the width of those as well depending on what you're putting on so if you're doing skid steer loaders smaller machinery that kind of stuff um small zero turn mowers <laughs> it's up to you really do have a beacon on the back as well lights look like that with the vindicators there that's why i said vindicators indicators very nice fits on there very nicely And we'll do the job. That's the transport platform by HR Forst und Fahrzeugbau. Moving on, we've got this. I do like 4D modding stuff. Um, this is the 20 foot bale trailer by 4D Modding and Air Agri Modding. 16.98 megabytes download, 13 slots on console. This is an auto load trailer with a few different options. You can have it looking older, you can have a newer version, you can have a new boards thing. You'll see tension straps, as you can see, as well. Um, but you'll find this under bale loaders. Just there. 12,500. So we've got the option of Trelleborg, Michelin, Big AT, Continental, Vredestein, back to Trelleborg. No options under Trelleborg or under Michelin. So we've got that one under Michelin. We've got balloons. Big AT, we've got those two. Continental, we've got quite a few. Um, 
There we go. Frankenstein. Back to Trello board again. So we've got Trello configuration old or new. I'll leave it on new because we can change the colour of that down there. So we've got auto load standard, auto load bales. So yeah, auto load for bales or not. You've got creel options, we've got quite a few. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Back to standard. I think I went for that, did I? Can't remember now. Um, if you've gone for the old version, the creels look old as well. So we do that, as you can see, like that. Uh, visible dirt on the deck, you've got add straw, add hay, add soil, or off. Toolbox options, we got toolbox one, toolbox two, or both. Floor options, old wood floor, new wood floor, steel floor. Body colour, so if you've gone for, if you haven't gone for the old version, but you've gone for the new version, we can change the body colour to anything on that palette. Creel colour, anything on that palette. Steel floor colour, if you've gone for steel floor, you can pick anything on that palette. And then rim colour option, anything on that palette. As I say, if you go up to there and we go back to old, none of those options will take effect because it's just the old patinaed look. I say patinaed, yeah, I guess it is really. Isn't it? And then we've got license plate option there as well. So, I have found... Weird, it said 364 bales. That might be for small bales, but as far as square bales go, I think there's 15 square and 17 round, I want to say. Operating position. We are full at 15 bales there for square. If I unload bales, unload them onto the trailer, I can then strap them down. That's... Oh, there goes. I didn't go over the last one. So then if I go back to reset, operating position... If I want to unload them elsewhere, unload bales, I can go L1 and right stick side to side goes that way, R1 and right stick up and down goes that way, there's no twist on these, and then I can unload, he says unload bales there. If I reset, operating position, round bales, there we go, 17 round bales, interesting way they've stacked on there. I'm wondering whether or not if I'd gone for the different creel option. No, I don't think so, because it says 100%. And then we've got the same option for unloading here. We can unload them onto the trailer and strap them down, or if we unload them like that. I've always said the only thing with round bales is um, they have a tendency to roll, because it won't go right to the floor. So you get a bit of that going on, but it's not the end of the world, is it? There we go. The 20-foot bale trailer by 4D Modding and Air Agri Modding. Next. Ah, oh, here we go. So this is the next of the bonkers ones. We have this. This is the Lizard Ruby 290T. This is by JM Garcia. 20.32 megabytes download, 9 slots on console. For this lovely looking trailer. You'll find it under trailers. Just there, the Ruby 290T. 40 grand, that's all. 40 grand. Bear that in mind. So we've got 30,000 litre capacity or... 300,000 litres. Doesn't add any extra more and money on. So 300,000 litres for 40 grand. Licence play option. We can have it left, right, or both if you want. Then at the front we've got low hitch ball or low hitch pin. And then licence play option. Those are your choices. I've got at the moment 300,000 litres of olives in there. We have got a beacon on the back, lights and indicators, uh, we've got tip side back or tip side grain door, and loads pretty fast, oh we've got left and right as well, there we go, open door, oh yeah, open the back door so if you're not tipping you can just open the back door so if you wanted to put pallets and stuff like that in you probably could if you want to just open the back door but I think you have to have it set on uh, open right to have that option come up I think let's just go to open back I oh, know you can still do it that's fine that's cool there you go 300,000 litre capacity for 40 grand world's gone mad 
Um, that's the Lizard Ruby 290T by J.M. Garcia. Next to that, we've got this. This is the Lizard RT28. This is by Calaroga Modding Design. 23.71 megabytes download, 13 slots on console. This hasn't got any crazy capacities on it. <laughs> Fairly standard trailer, this one. You'll also find it under trailers. Just there, the RT28. 75 grand, 40,000 litre capacity. We've got the option of tyres, FL630 Supers. FL630 Ultras, Ride Max FL693Ms, and then back again. We've got a ladder. Now, it's already got the ladder, so the ladder's there. It's, it's the actual platform. You have a platform, yes or no. Beacon, yes or no, puts the beacon on the back. Rear working lights, yes or no. Design colour, black or green. Design colour, yellow or green, does all that. And then rim colour, yellow or black. Licence plate option two, those are your options. Our lights and indicators. Beacon. This one doesn't have um, grain door or anything like that. Just unloads like so. Awesome. That's the Lizard RT28 by Calaroga Modding Design. Uh, next, we have got. Oh, yeah, we've got this. We've got the OR. Is it ORZ? Yes, the ORZ300A by Hashtel and EE. This is 8.07 megabytes download, 5 slots on console, 8 meter spread width, 300 litre capacity. This will do liquid fertilizer or herbicide. You will find it under sprayers. Just there, 1,450, that's all. So we can change the lance height. You can't do this yourself. It won't adjust after the fact, um, but you can have it on three, four, sorry, one, two, three, four. Main color, anything on that palette. Pop in. There we go. Nice and small tractors, doesn't require a lot of horsepower for your liquid fertilizer or herbicide. The ORZ300A by Hashtel and EE. Next we have got, oh yeah, all over there. This, the Lizard T072 slash one. By Zimovi, this is Zimovi. 10.38 megabytes download, 8 slots on console. This reminds me of one, was it FS17 or FS19? That could fold flat? It reminds me very much of that. Nice, inexpensive um, forage wagon. It's only got an 8,500 litre capacity, but if you're starting off small farm, small equipment type thing... Very nice. Uh, under forage wagons... 4,700, that's all. 25 horsepower required to operate it. You've got wheel setup, standard or wide. We've got wall type, type 1 or type 2. If you're worried about stuff falling out through the bottom. Then we've got roller position, we can change that. Covers, that's over the stuff here. Yes or no. Set the covers off so you can see the chains and belts, etc. Main colour, anything on that palette. Room colour. Anything on that pallet? Yeah, 8,500 litre capacity. So, start it up. Turn it on. Drop that down. I remember doing one of these on FS19. And I've got almost all the way through the mod review. And I did all of this, filled it up, and when I went to unload it, the entire game crashed. <laughs> Fingers crossed that doesn't happen again. There we go. Unload. Preferably into a hayloft or something like that rather than just a big heap on the floor, but you can if you want to.
lovely job. The Lizard T072 slash 1 by Zimiovi. Uh, next. Interesting, we have a trio of John Deere's to finish off. We've got the John Deere 911 radi Radial Meter by Sloitches Modding. 12.19 megabytes download, 7 slots on console. This is the 5.1 meter planter. It is a direct drill as well. This will take seed and fertilizer. We do have the option for... Um, yeah, you'll see, they don't actually work. Um, but, well, we'll see in a moment anyway. Um, so under planters is where you'll find this. There we go, 12,450 for 5.1 meters. Slot count comes down to one, 110 horsepower required. So you can have a standard front platform with a uh, rail as well, or not, it's up to you. Ridge markers, yeah, no markers or marker, but they don't actually fold down. Oh, I haven't, I, there wasn't an option on console anyway, I, I couldn't find it. Uh, main colour, we've got that, that or that. That's quite a dark one, and then you've got the old one. That doesn't drop the price or anything down if you go for the old paint or anything like that. Then rim colour. We've got the John Deere yellow, or we've got the greens, if you want to change the rim colour to that as well. Those are your options. We'll start up. 1,200 litres of fertiliser, 1,500 litres of seed. Open cover. Pour out fertiliser. Then our seed. Then back off again. Because this is a direct drill. A direct, a direct drill, a direct drill. If we are L1, you'll see, I've got my open cover options, but nothing for the ridge markers. Start it up. A bit of an angle there, so we go. Direct drill. Nice bit of movement on that as well. I like that. Could probably do we straighten that up a little bit. There we go. It's better. Let's do that. There we go. I'm going to run into the next crop. There we have it. The John Deere 911 Radial Meter by Sloitches Modding. Next. Also by Sloitches Modding, we've got this, the John Deere Gator CX. This is 10.09 megabytes download, six slots on console. It's got 450 litre back section, or you can have tension straps. I'll just put some potatoes in it, not quite sure why. Um, there's stuff and there's any options on this one, actually. If we go to cars, 3,560. Oh yeah, license plate. That's all. If you're a license plate, you don't have to. Hop on. Start it up. Horn. Lights. That's all there is to it, really. Um, I suppose you've got our indicators there as well. There's a little trailer hitch on the back for small trail, trail, trails. Trailers. First person. <laughs> it's a dinky little thing, isn't it? I'm still in the game. Oops. So, unload here. Like that. Or we can just unfold the back manually if you're using it with the tension straps and you want to put a bale on or a pallet or logs or something like that. The John Deere Gator CX by Sloitches Modding, which brings you on to the last of the mods for today. Where did I put it? Just there. I haven't taken this one out to the field. We had the the, the big brother of this the other day. Um, this is the John Deere S600i series by JHHG Modding. 56.93 megabytes download, 37 slots each. There are two of these. We had the 700i series the other day. Um, I'm... I think both of the options, both of the options, both of the vehicles have the same options. So I'll show you the options on one. The difference is between the two, the same as the 700i series. Um, they've got slightly different horsepowers and um, tank capacities. Other than that, as far as I can tell, all the other options are exactly the same. So I'll show you on one of them. But John Deere Harvester, the prices are very good on these, considering the tank capacity and the horsepower option as well. They're, they're very reasonably priced. I've gone for LSWs on this one, 1250s I think. Uh, numbers on them go from 1 through to 6. You'll find this under Harvesters. So as I said, there's two here. 
So we've got the S660, S670, then we've got the 680, 690. So the smaller, lower horsepower version is 162 gram for the base model, and the higher horsepower is 198 for the base model. I'll show you the options for the differences on this one. So this one, 10,600 litre or 14,220 litre capacity tank. Then engine setup, we've got 320 horsepower, 2012 or 2015. As far as I can tell, it's only the interior of the cab that changes. Oh no, the back section there, around the flywheel section, those kind of things. So, um, yeah, 320 horsepower, and then we've got 373 horsepower, 2012, 2015, on that one. So this one, we've got 14,100 is the base, 17,620 with the extension. Then engine on this one, 473 horsepower on the 2012 or the 2015. Sorry. Then we go to 491 horsepower, 2012, 2015. 528 horsepower, 2012 or 2015. So 528 horsepower being the highest. So then we move on to our options for tyres, etc. We are under Lizard. I'm going to do them one at a time. Under Lizard, we have got. Continental. Michelin. Midas. Just those. Uh, and then back to Lizard again. Numbers, as I said, we've got one through to six. Warning signs. We've got warning signs one. Warning signs two. Then we've got safety triangle with one, safety triangle with two, or off again. Then we've got rear hitches, we've got no, we've got a rear hitch, we've got uh, the hitch extension or the foldable. If it's like the previous one, I would go with that one, because I couldn't get the foldable one to unfold on console, that was just me personally. Then we've got 5.6 metre static pipe, uh, 6.9 metre static, 6.9 foldable, 7.9 static, 7.9 new, 7.9 foldable, rear axle, standard or wide, chopper tail boards, regular vein tail boards or standard it says, and then license plate option on there as well. So hop out, it sounds brilliant. If I fold the half set that's how it comes. Lights, beacons, we do have an L1 and right stick side side, or up and down so that panel opens. L1, R1, right stick side side, that panel opens and up and down, that panel opens. Done pipe out, we have the lights, there's a light on the pipe as well, as you can see. There's no door or anything that opens on this one though. Interior, very nicely detailed. If we turn the engine off, you'll see all the, the uh, screens go off. Turn the engine on, there we go. Green star, all the various different things are adjusting as they should. I didn't close that panel properly. It sounds brilliant, looks brilliant. I haven't shown it with the header, like I said, I showed the, the, the S700 the other day. It's more, um, it doesn't, actually this doesn't come, I better check that. Um, I don't think this comes with headers. I don't want to say it doesn't and then find it has got one. No, um, it doesn't come with a header or header trailer. You just pick ones that are standard in game for this. Oh, it does sound good. There we go, the John Deere S600i series by JHHG Modding and that's it for the mods. For today, Tuesday, the 4th of April, I hope you found this useful and informative in some way, shape or form. If you have, please give us a like. If you don't subscribe yet, please do. If you want to leave a comment, feel free. And if you want to share this video, then please be my guest. Whatever you should choose to do. Thanks for watching.